Oh, do you ever watch a stupid movie late at night hoping it's going to get better, don't get better, but you keep watching it anyway? Because the other night, the other night I was watching this movie, I was watching this movie called Fright Night, Freak Night, or some type of night, but it was about vampires. I don't know if you know vampires are some cool people, are they not? But I'm going to tell you something that I found out. A werewolf can kill a vampire. Did you know that? I never knew that, so I didn't want to be a vampire anymore. I wanted to be a werewolf. But then, anyway, as I'm watching this movie, and then you can tell how stupid it is because it's one in the morning. So I'm watching my TV. Are these kids watching their TV or a vampire kill on their TV? So you know it's kind of stupid, but I'm still watching, though. As I'm watching this show, what was funny, these kids had a vampire in their attic at their house. So they were watching their TV. Now, I'm watching my TV. Are they watching their TV? Or they see the vampire killer on their TV? So they win this contest to bring this actor. Now, y'all got to stay with me. Bring this actor who's a vampire killer from that TV to get rid of this real-life vampire in their attic. So as this actor comes to their home, he got all the right stuff. He got all the right stuff because you know, got to have a state and got to have a thing to, to kill him in the heart. And he got a necklace of garlic because that worked. I don't know what it does, but it worked. You got to have a cross because it burns. I know that worked. And then all of a sudden, this is what was so funny about it. As they're walking through the house... This, 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 this guy's got the holy water. He's blessing the house, this actor. Now, he's all fake. He's blessing the house with his holy water. They walked upstairs in this vampire looking real good in this black suit. You like vampires in black suits? Are you a bounty hunter, sir, or a vampire hunter? That's, what, what's the point here? Who is in the black suit? Here it is. They walked upstairs in this vampire looking real good in this black suit. Whoa, well, that sounds like Senator Warnock, doesn't it? Looking all good in this black suit, floated from the ceiling. He floated from the ceiling looking good and cool. And I'm thinking, whoa, they better get out of that house. If somebody float from your ceiling, get out of that house. That's, that's not your house. But as he floated from the ceiling, the kids jumped behind that hero. As they jumped behind that hero, the guy jumped in front of him with this holy water, threw it on the vampire forehead. He covered his eye. And he took his hand away. He started laughing. And he said, that don't work. He took the cross, he put it on the vampire's forehead. And the vampire didn't even do anything. He said, that don't work. And that's the way it is in our life. It doesn't even work unless you got faith. It is time for us to have faith. We got to have faith in our fellow brother. We got to have faith in this country. We got to have faith in, this, in the elected officials. And right now, that's the reason I'm here. Sir, is Warnock a vampire or not? All of this talking around, what's going on here? There's something... We need to know about. I thought Herschel Walker was talking to probably three or four year olds, right? The way he was telling the story. No, worse, Trump supporters. Okay? I don't understand exactly what point he was trying to land, neither does he. Okay? All right, uh, this happened uh, in a place called McDonough, Georgia. Very interesting. Uh, so, Walker has made a lot of questionable claims. Right, we've covered them right here on Indisputable. He's he's made claims about climate science. It has been revealed that his claims about his business background, not true. He has been shown to have fathered previously unacknowledged children. He has seen his own son denounce him on social media. And though he is campaigning on the anti-abortion platform, he is alleged to have pressured at least two women, if not more, to have abortions. In McDonough, Georgia, Walker's discussion of the unnamed vampire film led him to a character he said deployed a cross and holy water against the vampire without the expected effect. This, Walker said, showed that life, and I quote, don't even work unless you've got faith we got to have faith. I don't know what vampire films you're looking at, sir. But your faith really didn't matter to the vampire, okay? Now, this is an interesting, I guess, support of Herschel Walker. Let's put it up. Journalist, and I utilize that word loosely, uh, Michael Tracy said, and I quote, Herschel Walker doesn't come across as the ideal US Senator. But the main reason he's called stupid seems to be because he speaks in a heavy regional dialect with lots of colloquialisms. This alone does not make him stupid. He sounds like countless blacks in the deep south. See, there you go. Uh, sir, it is not because of his 
country accent. I'm country, I'm from the South, okay? It is because of the dumb ish he says. Just like if you say dumb ish, like you just did, you're dumb yourself. All right, Jordan, thoughts here. There's part of me that kind of feels bad for Herschel Walker. I think it just shows how damaging football, like a career in football can be, especially if you're a running back. And that seems to be the issue here. The issue here is definitely not his race. It is not where he's from. It's not the region he grew up in. It's it's just that he is not all there, which is unfortunate to an extent. I feel bad for him and anybody in that situation it doesn't justify, you know, just as you know, we've seen how other players have acted out later in life. Uh, because of CTE and things like that, it doesn't justify what they do, but it explains it. It explains it in part. So for him, I don't, I don't think it justifies any of these things he's running on or the things he's campaigning on, but it explains some of the reason why. I'm, I'm so like enthralled by this clip. I just, I'm fascinated why anybody on his team thought this was a good story for him to tell, <laughs> because it didn't really have a clear point. I couldn't really make sense of it. Uh, but he seemed very enthusiastic, and I guess uh, good for him on that front that he had a good time watching that movie. Whatever yeah. that movie was, he couldn't. Whatever. He doesn't even know what it was. He has no idea.